Which one of my family members had the worst grades in school? We put a real principal to the test to see if he can determine who had the lowest GPA. Round by round, he will be evaluating us based on our knowledge, appearance, and overall effort to help make his final decision. All right, guys, class is now in session. Hey, everyone, this is Principal Savings. Let's meet the class. Hi, guys, my name's Amanda. I am a mom. I'm an engineer now. I graduated class of 2010. Woo! Wow. Nice to meet you, Amanda. What's up, class? My name is Anthony. I'm 23 years old. <laughs> I have a girlfriend that I love so much, and I love school. Hello, I'm Mandy. I'm 34 years old. I'm a content creator. I like to travel, and I like to party. With who, Abraham? <laughs> Hi, I'm Jessica. Hi, Jessica. I graduated high school 10 years ago. I'm a licensed cosmetologist. Welcome. My name is Brawadis. My job is I play basketball for the Phoenix Suns. I have a son. His name is Booker, and he's a mini golden doodle. Boo. I mean, Booker. <laughs> Booker. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, hey class. Hey, hey, uh, my name is Brian Awadis. I make YouTube videos. I also Thank love you. to play video games. Nice That's shirt. Sure. Thank you. PlayStation. <laughs> On the shirt. Now give me three facts about you while you were in high school. Let's start with Brawadis. How's it going, Principal? Good, I like your shoes. Thank like you so the much, shoes. likewise. Three facts about myself in high school. Um, one is that I graduated class of 2013, 10 years ago. Second fact is I actually got suspended one time because we all had those friends who had hot moms. And one time I called my friend's mom hot and he got really mad and he wanted to fight me. And then my last fact is I put my brother in the trash can during lunch. Okay, the reason wasn't even that valid. I DM'd his ex-girlfriend. The day after we broke up. Okay, okay, relax with the day after, it was like two weeks. Oh, that makes it so much better. Settle down. All right, next up, let's see Faze Red. All right. One fact that he also knows is he taught a class for me for six months because you weren't a principal yet. Right. I think it was... I was a teacher, and then they pulled me out as the dean of students. Yep. I was a very shy kid in school. Once we got to the internet and DMs, he wasn't so shy, right? <laughs> I tried out for the basketball team, but didn't make it because I was too short. I also tried out for the football team. Actually, not tried out. I asked if I could. The coach said I didn't weigh enough. <laughs> Next up, let's meet Amanda. Three facts about me in high school. I was suspended too, but I'm gonna beat Brandon because I was just twice. Ooh, <laughs> that's not a good look. I also almost didn't walk in graduation, but my mom was able to fight for me and talk to the principal and I was wow. able to walk. Mm. I graduated in... Probably in a history book somewhere. <laughs> 2010? 13, 13 years, years ago, guys. Next up is Mandy. <laughs> I graduated in 2007. Ancient. 16 years ago, one of my favorite classes was auto shop. I did powder puff my senior year of high school. I was one of the students to miss the most amount of school days in one year, and my parents didn't find out right until before graduation. Wow. wow. I come home one day, I go in, my dad's there in the living room, a oh, stack no. of papers like this thick of forged signatures that oh, Andy gave wow. to the office. I love this drama. Thank you. Next up, we have Sherman. Boo. Boo. What's up guys again? I'm Anthony. Sticking to the topic of suspension, I haven't been suspended once in my whole life. Same thing about school, I loved soccer. Ever since I was a freshman, I set my sights on getting on the junior varsity soccer team. I'll say third fact, I'd have no problem staying after school to finish some extra work. Extracurricular guys. Teachers, pets. I do want to remind everyone, also the principal, that we could be lying too. It's the principal's job to see if he could tell if someone lies, because I'm sure you're pretty good at that. I do, I try to give you the benefit of the doubt, but at the same time, use a critical eye sometimes. Yeah. Last up, we have Jessica. Three facts about me in high school. The first one is my favorite subject was math. Second thing is I ran cross country. Third thing is I had a job at 15. All right, class, now that I got to know you a little bit better, I'm gonna go over and do my very first ranking on where I think your GPA's landed. I'm clearly the higher one. Let me see. I'm putting the engineer over here for right now. I'm setting that up. And then based on what they told me, one of the things she said is I had more absences than any other student in the entire school. I think these are my bookends right now. Just because I think he was trying really hard, I'm going here. Here's what I'm doing for now. Boom. And finally, this is just a feeling. That's where we're at for just the intros. No questions asked. This is the guess the flag challenge. I'm gonna show you a flag. You're gonna buzz in. First one with the correct answer wins. Heads down. Here we go, heads up. Uh, Rawatis? Uh, that is England. That is incorrect. Amanda? Australia. That is a correct answer. What? This Wait. is Australia. I thought it was Britain too, but I didn't want to sound dumb. What? Here we go, second flag. Class, heads up. What? What? Oh, what is that? 
Rwanda's. United States. <laughs> United States is an incorrect answer. Indonesia. Indonesia, also an incorrect answer. Is it Croatia? No. Wow, I get lost. It starts with the letter N. Nepal. Nepal is correct. What? What? Yes. what? You're lying. I honestly just have no guess. Third flag. All right, class, heads up. Oh. Oh. Just, These are tough. Right. I want to guess, but I don't want to sound <laughs> Ethiopia. Ethiopia is correct. What? Okay, okay, heads down, heads down. All right, class, heads up. Oh. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Don't me too. These are tough. These are very tough. Morocco? No. Indonesia? No. You may have had items that are made in this country. Uh, Thailand? No. Taiwan? Taiwan is correct. Hey, no, yes, yes. I said Thailand. Brandon's winning so far, okay. <gasps> All right, class, ready, heads up. Oh. Uh, yeah. Lebanon. Lebanon is correct. Yay. Yay. All right, ready, heads up. Wait, what does that say? Croatia? No. <gasps> Costa Rica? No. Starts with an S. Spain? It is Spain, man. Oh, oh, my God. God. Last one. One flag left. All right, class, heads up. I just. I think that's Costa Rica. This is Costa Rica. Oh, I mean, I only got one. So I'm just saying, the winner of the round, right here. This was my initial pick, so I'm sticking with where I'm at right now. I think I'm onto something here, we'll see. All right, round three is gonna be the spelling bee. First up is Amanda. Spell the word zoology. Z-O-O-L-O-G-Y. That is correct, Amanda. Ruwadas, your word is torque. Honestly, I'm just gonna guess T-O-R-Q. That's not right. That is incorrect. Oh, okay. T-O-R-Q-U-E? That is correct, Woo! Jessica. Let's go. So Brandon eliminated. Brandon's out, yeah. Whoa! <laughs> All right, Brian, you ready? Your word is frugal. Okay, come on. F-R-U-G-A-L? That is correct. Right. Huh, frugal? Mandy, your word is faculty. F-A-C-U-L-T-Y. That is correct. Woo! I already know how this is going to be. All right, are we ready, Anthony? Your word is academics. A C A D E M I C S. That is correct. Wow. Round two of the spelling bee. Amanda, your word is tangible. T A N G I B L E. That is correct. Hey, we got competition here. Jessica, your word is synonym. S Y N O N M. <laughs> that was very close, Jessica, but not quite correct. S Y N. O N Y M. That is correct. I know. Okay, Mandy, your word is symphony. S Y M P H O N Y. That is correct. Oh, wow. Nothing personal, but the word is nuisance. Nuisance. N U S C A N C E. So close, but incorrect. Amanda, your word is nuisance. Okay, it's N U I S A N C E. That is correct. Oh, why did I think there was two S's? Okay, your word is camouflage. C A M O U F L A G E. That is correct. What? Wrong. No. Guys. Mandy, your word is encumbrance. E N C U M B R A N C E. That is correct. Whoa. Mandy, you ready? Your word is quintessential. U U I N T E S S E N T I A L S. Incorrect. Oh. Brian, yep. Your word is quintessential. Q U I N T E S S E N T I A L. That is correct. Is that what? not what you just said? You put an S at the end. Oh, oh, like you made the better cousin win. All right, Mandy, your word is salutation. S-A-L-U-T-A-T-I-O-N. That is correct. I need you to spell the last name of Napoleon Bonaparte. Bonaparte, B-O-N-O-P-A-R-T. That is incorrect. Mandy for the win. B-O-N-A-P-A-R-T? It is, Mandy. Ah! I'm gonna do a quick switch because dang, she got like everything right. So I'm gonna do the quick switch here. All right, we're into round number four. And you know, one of the most important elements of school is the social aspect. So for this round, contestants, I need to see where would you sit in the lunchroom? Ooh. <laughs> Table number one. I would go number five. I don't know who these other two people are, but Mr. Beast, we all know what he is and what he's about, so I feel like he would give me some really good advice and wisdom on how to do big things. I think it's pretty obvious where I'm going. 
Hey! Thank you very much. I'd say at table number four, my boy Sam and Colby hey. up there. Yep. I'll go to AMP, go to Jake Paul, Jitty, like in that squad right there. Phantom, guys, funny as hell, number one. That was interesting. Give us something to think about. There's some choices were made based on loyalty, choices were made based on gaining more knowledge, other choices were made just on relaxing, taking a break for a moment before we get back into the classroom. Refuel. Yes. Refuel. Cool. Correct, cool. All right, everyone, round five, mathematics. We're gonna have the contestants come up here and solve our math problem. First up, let's go Sherman. Aww. Suspension. Okay. What you think about this one? Okay, consider everything you've learned in our class. I think I got it though. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. I already know my answer, so I'm gonna leave this blank. I know we have some peeping Toms here. Um. All right, so next up is Jessica. Favorite subject, right? Uh -huh. All right, Mandy. <laughs> hmm, I think I have it. I'm gonna keep my board blank. Got it, okay. All right, Brian, come on down. I have to always write it out. Okay, easy. Oh my gosh, it's so easy, bro. I'm not even gonna write it. Brandon, you're up. Seriously, oh look how nervous I am. I dropped my pen on the floor. All right, last but certainly not least is Amanda. Oh, I remember this one, guys. So you have to do that one first, right? And then that, and then that. Do we show you, or do we just keep it? Not until the end. Okay, that's what I got. All right, everyone. On the count of three, you're gonna reveal your answers. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, wait. we got. Wait, who put 16? Just me and Mandy? All right, and the correct answer. 16. Come hey, on. What? Come what? on. Wait, 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 wait. Me and Mandy. I know how he knew it, but how how does it work though? So I still think top three are top three, but I think I'm gonna switch the order around a little bit because Mandy just keeps stepping it up. And won the last round, I think we're here. That's my guess. All right, round six, class. I need you to pick a partner. Stay away from me. Hey, yes, sir. no yes, hesitation. Sir. So this challenge is all about the power of persuasion. So I'm gonna give you a statement, and whatever team sells it the best to me is the winner. Hey, wanna go first. Yes. Let's go something simple. Why is it better to use a fork to eat cereal? Statistically, Cheerios are the number one most bought cereal in the United States. Where do we live? United States of America. United States. How many Cheerios can you fit on a spoon? You can't really pile them up, start falling off. How many Cheerios can you fit on each prong of a fork. Not getting too much milk to make the cereal soggy. The milk already touches the cereal in the beginning. But if you grab a spoon and you get too much milk on the spoon, it's more soggy. But on the fork, the milk falls through, but you get just enough. Enough. Jeremy, you, you've given us a lot to think about. Mm -hmm. I appreciate your time today. Thank you so much. Me and Mandy will load them away. I'm a big food guy. Big believer in a nice, beautiful steak. Why is it so important to put ketchup all over your beautiful, perfect, medium rare filet mignon? <laughs> That's so easy. I mean, first of all, where's the vegetable? vegetables in this. Where's the fruits in this? You need tomatoes. Yeah. You need to add that onto your steak. What's more flavorful than ketchup? <laughs> and also, steak comes from cow. Cows love eating tomatoes. It just goes hand in hand. If you put ketchup on your steak, it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> Take the L. Take the L. All right, well thank you. Thank you both. Okay, ladies, on a cold day, tell me why it's so important to wear socks on your hands. You definitely would like to keep your hands warm and socks are so good for trapping um, moisture and warm air in there, like my athlete's foot can prove that. It's also very easy to get frostbite, covering your fingertips, keeping them nice and warm and juicy in the sock. <laughs> And then also you can um, use your phone with a sock. That's actually a bonus. So you could just keep up with your social media. Mm -hmm. You could text your boss like, oh, I'm, I'm coming in to work. It's just a little cold right now. I think you give me a lot to think about. A little too much. Oh, no. Who doesn't like warm, moist fingers? Glad you pointed and that out. All right, I gotta be honest. You all gave me a lot to think about. But I gotta say, I think the winners here are Brian and, and Thank you. Sure, Thank you so much for coming out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He Wait, didn't what? even give me a chance Anthony. to speak. All right, I think we got to mix it up a little bit. Anthony killed it in the last round. Really sold me. We're going to go up here. I think we're going to go here and here. I think this is where we should be right now. All right, class, round seven. This is some situational questions where I'm going to ask you a question and you're going to respond with how you would handle this particular situation. So first question, you're in math class. You did your homework the night before. Normally the teacher has you turn it in right at the beginning of class. They forgot to do it. You're approaching the end of class. How many of you would remind the teacher that they have failed to collect the homework for the day? I didn't do it constantly. I've done it before. 
Yeah, and I would screw over everyone that didn't do it, and I would definitely remind them. You shouldn't do that. If what you're doing is gonna bring down your peers, you should never raise your hand and tell the teacher you missed the homework. It doesn't bring you any further. I can just yeah. hear the reaction from all the other students <laughs> once that one person says like, ah. That you might get like, after <laughs> class, but hey, you gotta get your points. All right, question number two. You see one of your classmates getting bullied by somebody. Oh. What do you do? I'm beating up whoever yes. is touching my no, classmate. I'm, I'm speaking up, I'm teaching the bully a lesson yep. because bullies are not cool. Sliding from my man. We're all correct. speaking up. Correct. All incorrect. You gotta speak to the student getting bullied. You gotta ask him what's going on. <laughs> Anthony was a bully. Uh, listen, I got bullied in high school, and then Anthony slid for me and fought the people that were bullying me. So that is classified information. If you got called into my office and ended up suspended suspended from school, what would it be for? Cheating on a test. Probably be getting in a fight because someone trash talked the Phoenix Suns. I'm definitely in the principal's office for cheating. I would say just being on my phone. Mine would be for skipping school. I'm a very passionate person, maybe staying too long after class. Oh, oh, when oh, the teacher is telling me to Hold on! Anthony, I'll be honest, I'm having flashbacks to when you were here, my friend. <laughs> One more question. If there was a famous TV character that represented who you are, who would that be right now? You know Haley from American Dad? Maybe the jock from Ned Z Classified that's always spinning the basketball on his yeah. finger. Gosh, yeah, I'd probably be the jock if we're being honest. I think I would be Hannah Montana. I have like a secret. Yeah. Multiple personalities. Stuff. Multiple disorder. personalities, I guess you can say. Oh wow. You will. oh, wow. Personally, I would compare myself to Jimmy Neutron. What is it, the dope? Big brain blast. Or you're Rico from Hannah Montana. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Literally are. Him. Vicky wow. from Fairly Odd Parents, Icky Vicky. Oh my oh, gosh, yeah, that, that is works. so comparable, bro. Uh -huh. Then a day we are in school, I'm gonna go oh. Bill Gates or <laughs> Steve Jobs. Um, he said movie or TV. They're in shows. movies, documentaries. I don't watch the kind of childish movies you guys watch. Watch documentaries. All right, I gotta go back to the board. Oh. Good round, everyone. This is difficult. I feel like there's a lot of questionable information coming out of here, so I'm debating this, right? Because I'm trying to figure out who's at the bottom. I feel like these three over here. Solid, but I think right here is where I'm wondering. He talks really well, he can sell pretty good, but sometimes that doesn't translate to grades. All right, I think I'm pulling them out. I'm going these two for the final competition. That's it. All right, we've narrowed it down. So these first four names that I call, you are safe because I feel like you have reached a level of proficiency that is just a little bit higher than your two counterparts in the family. So we're gonna start with Mandy, you are safe. Oh! Also, Amanda, you are safe. Wait, with all those Suspensions and everything? Even with the suspension, we saw through that. We really try to separate behavior and grades. Brian, you are safe. Oh, I had no concerns of that. I'll be honest, I struggled a little bit on my four spot. It took me some time. Anthony, you are safe. Brandon and Jessica are the final two. All right, for the final round, it's another situational question. We're gonna pretend like you are not academically eligible to walk at graduation, but you need to convince me that you've learned enough and done enough here at our school to be able to participate and graduate with your class. So come on down, Jessica and Brandon. All right, Brandon, you want to start? You mentioned academically we didn't meet the requirements to walk. So I believe your grades shouldn't determine like how good of a person you are. And I feel like walking across that stage is a memory that you will always have with you and your friends and your family. We shouldn't be robbed of the opportunity to walk with all of our classmates and uh, robbed of a memory that's going to last a lifetime. All right, Jessica? I feel like I deserve to walk in graduation because I... <laughs> No, this is not nice. <laughs> no. This isn't this how we is build bullying. community in our classroom. I did my part in this school. I was a team player. I was in sports. I have a job. Uh, as Brandon said, I think we all deserve to walk and have those photos and those memories with our friends and our family. Let them walk. Not if they don't deserve it. Hey, except honestly, one person the between them two is not walking. Principal Sabin, who do you think oh. has the lower GPA between Brawadis and Jessica? This is a tough one. Are you nervous? I'm very nervous. I know. I would be too if I were you. Oh! But I think I'm gonna let Brandon walk at graduation. Yeah! Thank you. Principal Sabin thinks that Jessica had the lowest GPA. Now, let's reveal our GPAs. This is how I placed you based on today's performance. How close am I? Let's move to our real GPAs now. Oh no! give each other props that we actually had good GPAs. We're a smart family. All right, let's go. Hey, hey, the bell doesn't dismiss you. I do. Get out of here.